Hello YouTube, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1, Shade Tree Survivalist. Um, this is part five of our camouflage series. And we have made a fair attempt to camouflage all this, all the uh, products that we had shown before. And Kimo is actually out in the yard in this shot right now in the Desert Camouflage BDUs. And um, going to pan around, give you a good view of the backyard. All the items that we had shown earlier are out here. And they are hidden from view as much as possible with, uh, you know, with a reasonable amount of uh, attention to detail, except for that, the advantage camouflage. Okay, we're going to pan back around because we don't want Camo to have a heart attack from the heat. <laughs> she was kind enough to uh, put on the uh, desert camouflage. And I'm going to zoom in on her. Okay, you can see the hat, the outline of the hat, and her arm stuck up. But from if you back off just a little bit, she just blends right in. Okay, Camo, move for us. Okay, she's waving at us. Okay, you can come on up here if you want to get that hot stuff off. All right, and while she's doing that, I'm going to zoom in on a couple of other things to give you a view of where the, the stuff is and tell you what it is. And this shot here is my combat vest. Just behind those little uh, shrubs or bushes that are wild, grow wild out here everywhere. I mean, absolutely everywhere. But they're just lay, it's just laying on the ground and on the edge of those logs there. And the second thing, the second item I want to show you is I didn't use it in the first one, but that's the face mask that I used in the very first camouflage video. The beginning of it, <clears throat> I just put it over that stump there to give it shape. Okay, instead of having it laying on the ground. Third item is the hat and gloves, real tree hat and gloves that I had on earlier or had laying out in the open earlier. And you can see the hat right there laying there. And uh, I've done went past the gloves, I believe. Let me see right in there. One's laying on top of the other, and that's as much as I can zoom. But right there is the, the two gloves. Okay. Now we're going to have to move <clears throat> because I've absolutely uh, hidden some of the stuff behind other items, uh, natural foliage and such, <clears throat> and you'll, I'll have to move in order to be able to see them. Okay. Right here... Uh, in this shot, wait a minute, <laughs> I moved that item and she was wearing that item. It was a pair of pants, but I had it actually concealed there and I was like, okay, I know I concealed it well, but not that dang gun well. We left the uh, field jacket where it was at and the abomination. Okay, we left those two items. Okay, now I'll see if I can get... Okay, and this shot here is a Woodland Camouflage BDU jacket. I just got it laying on the ground and I threw a little bit of pine straw on it. And it's right back there and that, the way the light is shining, it's hard for the camera to pick it up so I'll actually walk over to it. Okay, now we have time constraints. I've got a ton of videos to make today, all short ones or shorter ones than these. But there it is in the shadows. That's the point. Put it in the shadows, throw a little bit of foliage over, and it's very, I mean, it blends in pretty daggum good. Okay. Now, the civilian variant of the BDU camouflage, the woodland pattern, is right over there by the azalea bush. And uh, just throw a few, little bit of pine straw over it to help conceal it. And it stands out <clears throat> quite a bit, really. Cause there's not enough brown not enough light brown in it okay onward and upward as i'm always saying now these are all uniform items uh, for instance these boots would not work well in this particular environment i guarantee you these are the uh, desert camouflage boots current issue and back here 
we have my backpack again you can see the bottom of it and probably if you look really really hard through there you could probably see the outline just a little bit but it blends in really well where it's at get a better shot of it from a different angle okay pretty much if you're looking for it you'll see it it stands out quite handily okay now for the real test of the camouflage okay let me get over here I've got to walk over this way I have to get the camera out of the sun or it'll blind the peewacking out of it you won't be able to actually see it now in this shot right here you can there is a boulder a humongous boulder as well as one of the camouflage screens okay the mossy oak i believe this is what this one is <clears throat> all right i'll zoom in on it and the daggum wires in the way it's gonna mess me up all right it's right there okay right in the center of the screen let's get a better a different angle on it sorry about all the movement folks but in order to do this properly you really really have to put it in the environment in which you're going to use it <clears throat> okay now there's the boulder okay that is a real honest to god boulder and it's probably a couple of hundred pounds at least all right and right next to it that between the tree and the boulder is the the uh, screen now i added some foliage to it dried leaves dried twigs some live ones that i cut off of uh trees nearby which in reality that would be stupid you do not want to give any indication that you're in the area okay but that is a blind and i think it, it blends in really really well okay from where i'm standing at it just looks like part of that damn rock really and I know that rock is here. I mean, every time I walk out here, it's easy to see. So if you're familiar with your surroundings, but you really don't have all the absolute details, someone could set up a blind right there and you'd walk right past it and never see it. Okay, that's just that simple. All right, now for the burlap one. It's easier to take from this angle on account I actually allowed a little bit of a highlight through it. That's it right there. Okay, that's it. That's the burlap from a different angle right here very very hard to detect okay now there's a straight line that I had to slightly attempt to but see that straight line right there one solid color that would be a no-no I have fabric markers and camouflage colors that if I was actually going to use this for a blind that I could absolutely blend that right in and it would be a permanent color but i mean look at this right here look at that i mean that that would just that blends in so well if you're looking for it hard enough you know what you're looking for you can see it if you don't it'll blend right in that's as simple as it gets simple as it gets all right now this is the end of part five the next one i'm going to show you some of the dangers and i'm probably way too close but some of the dangers uh, associated with uh, your belief that you're so well camouflaged that no one can see you and uh, that'll be part six so this is Mac Daddy 1911 A1 and Miss Kimmo uh oh she's giving me the ugly look <laughs> signing off say tree survivalist or out